You see this, sir? There's like people planning weddings on the eclipse. Yeah. Very emotional. They got carnival set up. They're behind these people over here. There's like food trucks and all this stuff. That's insane. You know, if we time things right, we'd be right in Indianapolis. Right at the same time that the eclipse was hitting it. Woo! How are you, great, magnificent, <coughs> beautiful, outstanding people doing today? We're on our third trip down to uh, the dump. It's citywide cleanup days in town. I'm cleaning up all the leftover stuff from building the garage last year. Right now, we just got a simple load on it. And we're going to be heading out to Indianapolis today. Um, we're not going to go all the way. We don't got to be there till tomorrow night. And plus, on top of that, really don't want to put up with this eclipse traffic. It sounds weird to say, but I promise you, how many accidents are going to be tomorrow? So apparently there's some kind of big basketball game going on today. I think it's the Hawkeyes. I don't know if they're still called the Hawkeyes or if they're called like the Caitlin Clarks or something like that. Not too sure. Maybe one of these days I will get into basketball. As for me right now, it's 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 about like watching baseball. I like watching that paint dry. I actually no, I like watching paint dry. When I paint the flatbed and stuff, I like watching paint dry. Just not into those two sports. Maybe someday I will get into them, but a lot of people in the grocery store were gearing up and getting ready for the Hawks to play. I'm like, cool, cool. My dad likes the Hawk guys. So we just dropped dad's pickup off over at his house. We're going home here. Um, Rosie has one of, I got Rosie one of those chickens that squeaks real loud. She ripped the squeaker out of it. So I finished ripping it out, and it's now my new mouthpiece. So yes, this wasn't a dog's mouth at one time, and now it is in mine. But it's just enough to drive my family crazy. Hey, Jody! So this is why Paige won't come into our house? Yeah. Because she says it smells. What'd you do to the floor? Um, I got a little crazy with the powdered sugar. It will be all good. Guess what I got? Oh my gosh, quit your whining. These mints are for your graduation. But they're not for me. You guys want them. Mainly you. Know, you're going to eat them. Yes, I'm going to eat them. There you go, Troy. They're up 5 7. They're up to 7 to 0 within the first. Well, how long's in a quarter? That's already been two minutes. Are you sure there's 10 minutes in a quarter? Or is it called an inning? It's a quarter? Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear them. <laughs> Those birds are going crazy over there. Alrighty, I got my $600 Powerade. Or no, it's not Powerade. What is it? It's like Kool-Aid. Either way, $600 worth. This won't be the only time we get fuel today. We probably will be fueling up twice in today's video. 
How lucky are you guys? I say lucky because there's just no better content than a man putting fuel in his truck, right? Okay, so we're going to head out to Greenfield, Indiana. I'm not sure what we're going to have in the wagon yet. We're heading up to Sioux City to grab it right now. But I like to fuel up in eastern Iowa. I can see why everybody really likes that Caitlin Clark, Clark girl on the Iowa Hawkeyes. Before I left, I think the score was, I think the Hawks had like 27 or 26. I think she made like 25 of those points, the way it sounded. And just every time she had the ball, she made a touchdown. Or hoop? I think it'd be hoop, right? Or basket, something like that. I'm just giving you guys stress. I know a little bit more about basketball, but not a whole lot, not a whole lot at all. I don't watch it much. That's more my dad and my sister's category there. They watch golf though too, so I don't know about their sanity. We have, we have 38,000 pounds of numbers on board. It doesn't tell us what's in the trailer. It just gives us a bunch of random numbers. And then, uh, like I think I told you guys earlier, we're going to take that over to Greenfield. Earlier in the video, I talked a little bit about the apocalypse or the eclipse. Those are two big things. Don't goof those up. But the eclipse, um, I, I just really hope it doesn't mess with my traffic. Uh, one of Sarah's friends was visiting, and she said the last eclipse that happened, one of her friends got stuck sitting on the interstate for multiple hours because it was all bunched up with people trying to watch the eclipse. I told Sarah if that happens, expect to see me on the nightly news. She said, Kurt, don't get arrested. I go, I wouldn't get arrested. But if they do that, there's a good chance that I'm going to strip down naked and I'm going to start walking up and down the interstate in between all the cars screaming, the aliens are coming, the aliens are coming. Are you picturing that? Mine is bigger because it has to be. I'm an adult, even though he is older than me. Bert Sparky's just off of Highway 20. Has it always been Chester's? For some reason, I cannot remember this place selling Chester's chicken. I walked in there, I'm like, ooh, because there is nothing worse smelling than fried chicken. And I was like, ooh. Usually I never smell that. Usually I would get like a roast beef or something here. Um, hot roast, I used to get that here, and it wasn't there, it was just Chester's chicken. Wow. I wish he could just deliver that to my house. If that thing has a solid engine, solid transmission, the body is sort of solid. But if everything runs on it, you're looking at about eight to nine thousand dollars. I have a 1979 Bronco. 
That one has the round headlights. My 79 has the square. I got ice cream on me already. What eyeballing me? This one's mine. You ate yours already. Yours had more. Well, yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Trying to keep ice cream out of your beard while you're eating an ice cream cone is about like trying to keep syrup out of your beard while you're eating pancakes. Welcome to Independence, Iowa. It's a little bit further to the east than Waterloo, Iowa, but I figured we needed to take a little detour from our normal route. And I was gonna stop at the Casey's on Highway 20, but I figured why not? This Casey's is really nice here too. So we're just gonna stop here, let the German run around, do his thing as normal. We're still trying to get our, uh, what do you say? trucking legs under us you know when we were just running to Kansas we we're only running 265 miles usually down to Topeka Kansas and then we will uh, grab a load and run 265 miles back up to Sioux City um, like this one from Sioux City to Greenfield Indiana it's a shade over 700 miles I didn't want to run it tomorrow this load doesn't deliver till yeah, mid tomorrow afternoon. I would have had to wake up really early in the morning to run it. So we're just going to split it up. We have plenty of time. No big rush. I'm sure. I'm sure I probably will stop and uh, record a little bit of this. Uh, I keep wanting to say apocalypse. This uh, eclipse tomorrow. I probably will record a little bit of that just because well the last one I've seen um, there in Iowa it wasn't a uh, intern pitch black everyone tells me that uh, Indianapolis or Indiana and that neck of the woods is supposed to turn dark like it is right now I doubt it but we'll see if it actually comes true I say I doubt it, not because I'm like, I doubt that they know what they're talking about. I say I doubt it because, man, wouldn't that be something? That would be interesting to go from a bright sunny day, which I don't think it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be foggy, or uh, not foggy, but cloudy. That would be something to go from daylight, full daylight, to pitch black like it is right now. That is one thing that I will admit I, I do think would be kind of cool to see. 
So the more I think about it, the more I talk about it, I am kind of stoking myself up for the whole eclipse thing. But on the same note, I hope it really doesn't interrupt uh, much traffic. Stop by Tipton, Iowa, just off of Interstate 80 to top the tanks off. I really don't want to go any further east into Iowa. Uh, the state line's not too far from us, so the fuel prices are just going to keep going up the closer we get to Illinois. Uh, we put 60 gallons in. Uh, we went 355 miles. If I did my math right, we're probably sitting right around that 5.8 to 5.9 miles a gallon, so with no idle time. I usually push for the six miles a gallon, but here lately, um, fuel's just uh, been kind of quality, been kind of going down, mixed with our loads are just uh, keep getting heavier, and we've been fighting a pretty good wind. How many more excuses can I fit into one speech on the camera? It's just windy out. So with the wind out, we're pushing five, eight, five, nine miles a gallon. That's not too shabby at all. Uh, we are just going to stop again, and I'm not too sure if we're just going to stop there for the rest of the night. We're just going to go a few miles down the road to uh, Iowa 80. We're going to run in there, see if they have a center cap for our front wheels, and uh, we, we might sleep there. Because if we go any further, and once we get into Illinois, all the truck stops will be full. And I'm, I'm earlier I had said that I'm going to try it. We're going to park on an on-ramp. And uh, we'll just see how tricky they are. I, I'm not in that mood anymore. <laughs> I'm not in that daring kind of mood. So we might just sleep over here at I-80.
information in complete detail. The twist and lock arrow covers a result of years of research, development, and field testing. Experience you can depend on. For more information, your other view. When did they take the W9 out of here? There used to be a big beautiful W900 set in here. It's going. I see they still got the old corn patch Cadillac. Next I think that's what it's called. Oh. There's your wall of lights. All right, we're gonna spend about 15 bucks and time to go. My seat just says Elite on it. There was an Elite Atlantis. That could be the new version of my seat, I guess. My seats are really old. They could have just quit making seats to say Elite. But they still were a lot smaller than my seats. The thing I love about my seats is my seats darn near go to my kneecaps. When you sit down, you know? That's what I hate about Sarah's Jeep is Sarah's Jeep, well, the end of the seat barely even goes to the end of my butt cheeks. But the end of like my pickup seat or even my truck seats, they go to darn near my kneecaps. That puts a pretty good base of your body on the seat. Okay, let's go throw these on, let the German run around, eat some lettuce. We might go to bed here. Really has no reason to keep going. Why would you put horseradishes in lettuce? Who would do that? Such an evil thing to do. Sometimes you need to break the leash out, especially in uh, high traffic areas as this is. There you go, come on. I thought we were safe to unhook you. It turns out trucks driving the grass here now too. Let's go all the way up this hill. They'd have to work a little bit harder to get up here. Come on. Come on. All right. We are way up here. So if they come all the way up here, oh, we have other troubles. Like run for your life. Some of you were making the comment that uh, the hood on top of my truck, the paint job, is just driving you guys crazy. I have no intentions on fixing that probably within the next five years. But if I stay on that end cap, and we're at one of the most, well, we're at Iowa 80 truck stop, Walcott, Iowa, off of Interstate 80. If we stay on that end cap, there's a good chance we could get a new paint job. But I'd be doing it just for you. All right, well, okay. So tomorrow I will remember to take my meds and I will not be in such a wound up kind of weird mood. And then uh, we're see, uh, seeing Eclipse, I think. 
right here where we're sitting it's not supposed to hit well be total darkness until like two o'clock in the afternoon but we won't be here at two o'clock in the afternoon uh, about the time we're we starting it's probably when it's supposed to start eclipsing I, I don't know I, I'm trying to convince myself that it's a big deal but I'm having troubles convincing myself of that or see you guys stay safe as always I'll see you next time